So, I'm gonna try lighting this match here with my old 50 milliwatt Rayfoss laser and using this magnifying glass, of course. See, it's a, it's a pretty intense magnifying glass. So, all the batteries in both this and my new 100 milliwatt laser are fully charged, so it'll give it the best possible chances. So I'm just gonna focus it. There we go. Put the magnifying glass in there. So I don't know how well you can see this, but there is a tad bit of smoke coming off of the match. I'm having trouble holding the magnifying glass steady. Yeah, still a little bit of smoke coming off. Looks like it's not gonna light, guys. So, take this guy off and get my pretty much exactly identical 100 milliwatt laser. I'll put them side by side. Set that up and focus it. go. Alrighty, some smoke coming off of there. I'm going to put the glass in the way, just like I did with the other one. About the same amount of smoke coming off. A little bit more smoke now. Oh, and there we go. You can see no trickery there. The match is actually lit. And I'll light my lantern up here with it. All right. So those are my two lasers. The old 50 milliwatt Rayfoss laser, which is uh, an excellent laser. By my standards, it's very visible at night, even slightly visible in the day. And then the 100 milliwatt Rayfoss laser, about $80, and somewhere around $50. I would also add that the customer service at Rayfoss is amazing. I uh, damaged the lens in this laser and just told them about it, and they sent a, a free replacement within a couple of weeks. So definitely would highly recommend both of these lasers, whatever your budget allows. Obviously the 100 milliwatt, slightly more power, lights that match, and that's what matters. Alright, 